This module is the continuation of the fed batch culture kinetics. So, this module is the fourth module of fed batch culture kinetics. So, as we discussed in previous module of the various strategies of uh, fed batch and then how we maintain the quasi steady state during the fed batch. So, when that mu is equal to d. So, the d is directly effect on mu and different other parameters of the fermentation process. So, as we already discussed that part expressed the change in product concentration in variable volume especially in fat batch culture. So, the dp over dt is equal to qp dot x minus dp mean if there is a product basically this equation is the continuous culture equation, but part also utilize this equation for the fat batch culture too. So, we will discuss in detail in later on. So, if we talk about the product concentration change according to the balance between the product rate and the dilution by the feed. So, the dilution rate. So, if we say that fed batch quasi state change over the time of the fermentation mean if mu is not equal to d. So, then there is a drift in mu or a d with respect to d. So, if we cannot balance between these two rate production rate as well as the dilution rate then the steady state can be disturbed. So, the product concentration in fed batch system over the time of the fermentation depend on the relationship of q p and mu which we called as a specific growth rate. Hence, we can say that it totally depend upon d which we called as dilution rate. So, the f q p is strictly growth related mean our product is growth related then it will change as mu with d. So, if mu and d is disturbed or a change then we can say that our product associated with the biomass will also change. So, the product concentration in such contained fashion uh, when there is a mu is equal to d and there is a constant increase in the product as we say when our product is directly associated with the biomass. In previous module we see that uh, when there is a variable volume and mu is equal to d then there is a constant concentration of the biomass. So, we can say here the same way the product concentration also remain the same. So, as much as the product concentration increase what happen due to the dilution vol volume also increase. As an example we see if there is a fermentation vessel and here is a 5 liter volume and there are a 5 organisms and the 1 liter of the addition of the medium and that become a 6 liter total volume and during that the addition of the 1 liter medium into the fermentation vessel there is the increase of one cell and then the total number of cells is 6. So, when we see that 5 organism in 5 liter so 1 organism per liter. So, when there is addition of 1 liter volume so by the same time there is one more organism. So, the 6 organism per 6 liter so the ratio remain the same so, by the same way if the product concentration remain the same in fat batch quasi state. So, we can say that the q p is constant and independent of mu specific growth rate. So, then the product concentration will the start of the cycle when d p is greater than q p x. 
but will rise with time as d decreases so as the d will decrease mean dilution will decrease then the product concentration will increase so the if the dilution will increase then product concentration decrease so it directly associated with uh, the d so we can easily say that if our product is directly associated with the biomass so the same way when the dilution is equal to the mu then x remain the constant and the p will also remain the constant if the d will increase then the biomass concentration also decrease and the product concentration also decrease but if the d will decrease mean dilution rate will decrease then what happen x will also increase and p will also increase so if the qp is related to the mu in a complex manner then the product concentration will vary according to the relationship as i already told you thus the feed strategy of the system would be up optimized according to the relationship between qp and the mu so overall to run the fed batch culture in a variable volume our main focus on the addition of the limiting substrate by knowing at what time what substrate will be depleted keep in mind a very less change in the volume so mostly when we say in as an example uh, when we have a culture of a baker yeast fermentation in the start we having a small amount of the medium and we have the inoculum and there is a continuous feeding of the medium and the yeast grow with respect to the mu we are adding and there is a gradual change into the medium so as well as the fermentation volume will increase in the fermenter fermenter what happen the biomass will also increase so that we can run the fed batch until to a that limit up till the fermentation vessel allow us so as i already told in previous module that we can only use the 75% of the total fermentation vessel volume so the remaining is needed for head space which is very critical during the fermentation process